Salve galera, tiozão, japa na área, mais um jogo comentado O título de hoje é The Little Acre Leia a descrição para ver o preço promocional deste jogo com 80% de desconto Antes de mais nada, se você não é inscrito no canal, inscreva-se Ative o sininho para receber as notificações, pois todo dia vai ter um jogo promoção por aqui Seja antigo ou mais recente A bebê deixe seu like, compartilhe com os amigos e vai ajudar muito em você no canal Valeu mesmo, hein? Pessoal, nunca perdi nada É de graça inscrever aqui no canal Dessa força aí, valeu! The Little Acre é um jogo point and click, apontar e clicar, gráficos desenhados à mão, abertura e cutscenes animadas estilo anime. Neste jogo de point and click, os objetos que são de interação são demonstrados com o símbolo do botão de controle, característicos para basta chegar perto e interagir. Você pode usar o inventário para interagir com esses objetos, movimentar a personagem livremente. Vou ler a sinopse para vocês. The Little Acre acompanha a história de Aidan e sua filha Lily, ambientada na Irlanda da década de 1950. Após descobrir pistas do paradeiro de seu pai desaparecido, Aidan começa a investigar até inadvertidamente ver-se levado a um novo e estranho mundo. Sempre de espírito heróico, Lily segue atrás dele, encont encontrando seu próprio lote de perigos pelo caminho. Totalmente dublado e com animações feitas à mão, The Little Acre é uma adorável e inesquecível aventura artesanal. Características Dois personagens jogáveis, animação tradicional à mão, mudanças de perspectiva únicas, linda trilha sonora original, totalmente dublado. Fim da sinopse. O jogo está traduzido para português brasileiro. Para variar, mais um jogo comprado em promoção com desconto de 80%, 5% a mais com plus, a 10 reais 37 centavos. Vai até o dia 20 de junho de 2024 na PC Store. Publicado por Pilter Games Studios Limited, censura livre, é para um ajudor local, lançado em dezembro de 2016, classificado como Aventura. Informação importante, é platinável. Galera, peço humildemente para curtir esse vídeo, porque escutou e assistiu até aqui. Compartilha com os amigos e se inscreva no canal. Não custa nada, e assim posso trazer mais conteúdo a todos vocês. Tiozão já, porque deixa esse vídeo por aqui. Até o próximo vídeo. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. <coughs> oh, that stinks. Oh, that stinks. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but I was still out of reach. I should be able to get the trajectory right. He wasn't gonna just let me take it, but maybe he'd be interested in a trade. That was my cue to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. I think he relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time.
My father had notions to turn to farming when he left his job. He never could leave signs behind. Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport and definitely didn't require any modifications, despite what my father said. I wasn't going to leave while I still had things to do. Strange light? Oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. It was on his favorite place to have a picnic. Mm. Nah. I've had better ideas. Dad left his jacket behind. Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside, or eating. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. The funnel allowed for coolant to be added. I don't think that would have helped.
Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. The label on the right... The label on the left indicated the electrical resistance of the crystal. The funnel allowed for coolant to be added. Lily left Sir Fuzzlepuff here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use though. To admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> Lily left her full. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. I think you relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. 
It was gonna take something heavy to force it down. The handle could be replaced later. I needed a temporary workaround. There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. The door wasn't locked, but something was blocking on the other side. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet though. It wasn't your average generator. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. I couldn't see a thing, and the idea of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things? made me nervous. The pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle budge. Dad converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd normally spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering, but it had been days and there was no sign of him. I've had better ideas. I don't think that would have helped. The receiver attached to which in turn rotated the wheel. Uh, I had no idea. So I've had better ideas. <laughs> <laughs>